Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle today, and today I'm going to be giving you guys seven tips on clearer skin. Now, I've decided to do the whole video without makeup on to show you guys my personal results. So let's get on to the video. Tip number one: eat less junk and more healthy food. I wrote these down in my notes. I know sometimes you want to have that cheeky cheesecake at night time or Frosties instead of Cheerios, but you know, sometimes go for the healthier option because I know everyone wants to have clear skin. Clear skin's the one, you get me. Okay? Number two. Don't touch your face with dirty hands. We all touch something outside, like let's say you touch a banister outside on the street and when you touch your face afterwards, don't do that because the germs from that banister went onto your hand and you're gonna put it onto your face and it's gonna seep into your pores, causing bacteria, reaction, whatever, whatever, acne, zits, pimples, whatever you want to call it. That's what's going to be the outcome. Number three. Moisturize, cleanse, wash, exfoliate. The four main tips to keeping your face clean. Now everyone's like, oh, I've got to wash my face, I've got to cleanse my face, I've got to exfoliate. But do this in moderation because if you constantly wash your face, it's going to eventually become really dry, flaky, so on. That's because you're getting rid of all the natural oils. Exfoliate once to twice a week because exfoliation really is like tough on your skin and really hard on your skin. You don't want to be too tough on your skin because then you're just going to end up breaking out again. I know this may sound like really silly that you're going to break out even more because what's going to happen is your body's going to want to create more oil because you're getting rid of all the oil and as it constantly creates more oil, the oil's gonna build up, you're gonna get spots. That's how you get spots in the first place. Number four, drink plenty of water. Now I know myself, myself, I don't wanna drink water a lot of the time, but you gotta drink water. That's why it's my number four tip. Drink the water as much as you can, at least two liters a day. I, d I don't do that, I'm gonna start doing it, but you know. <sighs> drink water now what water does is like it's a natural cleanser you get me it cleanses your insides it gets rid of all those toxins and it's like it like washes you out just think about a waterfall happening as it goes down your esophagus is that it yeah as it goes down your esophagus into your stomach through all your systems it's just cleaning everything okay it just goes down you get me down okay number five stop stressing out because stress leads to bad chemicals being released in your brain so on so on but then lead to oil and all that kind of stuff like everyone knows when you get your exams you start to get zits and pimples because you are stressed out now just try and decrease I know it's hard but try and decrease that stress because stress is not good for your skin and it personally hasn't helped me just watch your favorite channel once in a while talk to your favorite people get yourself a dog dogs are very therapeutic eat your favorite ice cream once in a while just calm yourself down read a book number six now this one also has been hard for me to do because I was wearing makeup like non-stop for like a year because I was literally addicted to it and then for the past three weeks I've just like completely stopped I've blocked it out I haven't worn makeup at all except lip gloss occasionally because I just wanted to like clear out my face and the more you use makeup the more your face is not getting the natural rays from the sun and the like just breathing and then when you do wear makeup you've got to put a primer on so that there's a layer between your face and the makeup because if the makeup is straight onto your face the stuff in the makeup the chemicals that make it that color or that pigment will seep into your skin and that will leave you with pimples and spots I would also say invest in a makeup brush cleaner because like even one of the like manual ones that you just clean your hands you don't have to get the big machine 
because your face may have had acne previously and then you've used that brush on it so then the bacteria that was on that acne from that acne will then be transferred and you'll get the acne again. My final tip is minimize the amount of off-the-counter creams you use because eventually your skin will become like resistant to all the off-the-counter creams and this is because it's gotten used to that constantly being applied for the same reason and it'll start to just reject it because it's being used too much and you're eventually going to start using more and more and more until it just starts to damage your skin because you're not meant to use that much of it if that makes sense now if there are any more topics you guys want me to talk about or any more things to do with the skin that you guys want me to do i know everyone's been requesting a makeup tutorial i might do that soon when i actually get good at doing makeup you know but if you want to, if you want any more videos like this, any more tips about skin, just comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all. Danny A, out.